Hi everyone and welcome back to Inside Tech. Everybody knows that smartphones today are not just your phone, they're your computer, your music player, and your camera. In fact, you can take such good pictures with your phone that for most people, digital cameras are now pretty much redundant. Your phone is an all-in-one solution, but the cost is that there's only so far you can go when it comes to taking pictures. The next step up in terms of photography is buying a DSLR, but even a budget model will set you back hundreds of pounds, plus hundreds if not thousands more on lenses. This is where Sandmark steps in, offering professional, premium quality iPhone lenses to take your phone photography to the next level. Currently, Sandmark offer four distinctive lenses, wide-angle, macro, fisheye, and telephoto, offering your phone's camera far greater versatility. In this video, I'll be checking out all four, comparing the lenses with one another, and seeing just how much of a difference they make compared to the iPhone's camera alone. Let's take a look. Now with each purchase you get the lens with lens caps, the phone case for your specific phone model, a microfiber cleaning cloth, a clip-on mount, and a soft touch pouch to carry all of your accessories, so you have everything you need to get started. My only criticism here would be that I do wish the bags were labelled, since there is no way to differentiate between them. The lenses themselves are really impressive. They're made from a durable aluminium rather than plastic, and the glass inside is also multi-coated for both anti-reflective and protective properties, but this also helps to ensure high clarity images with minimal edge distortion. The lens caps cover both the glass and also the screw threads, which is how you mount the lenses onto the case. The lenses have a good weight to them, and the high build quality here is really apparent. They're essentially miniature versions of professional lenses you'd expect to find with a DSLR. The phone cases are made from a hard plastic, and have a matte black rubberized texture to provide extra grip, certainly important when you're taking pictures, and I have to say that these do feel really good in the hand. The case has an ultra-thin profile, in fact, this is the world's thinnest lens mounting case, and it leaves gaps for the buttons and speaker grills so you're adding minimal bulk to your phone, which is great for portability. The downside, however, is that they offer your phone very little protection. If you drop your phone with this case on, then pretty much only the corners and the rear panel will be protected, and even then perhaps only from minor scratches. Personally, I quite like sleek and slim cases, because I hate spoiling the iPhone's thin design, and the case feels so good in the hand that this was actually a close contender to be my permanent phone case, although the lens mount does mean that the phone won't sit flat on a surface. The lens mount also has metal threads for added durability, and is completely universal, meaning you can swap out any of the lenses onto the case without having to change cases each time, which is great. Although you do get an additional phone case with each lens purchase, even if you buy a lens bundle, so you'll have plenty of spares just in case you manage to break or lose one. If you have more than one Sandmark phone case, you can also swap any of the lenses between different sized phones. Still, if the case doesn't offer the protection you'd like, maybe you have one of your own phone cases you want to keep using, or perhaps you just want to be able to quickly swap out a lens during a shoot, Sandmark's clip-on mount has got you covered. The screw thread in the clip-on mount matches the size on the phone case, so again all lenses are compatible, and the clip features rubber pads to both provide extra grip and keep your phone protected. The spring inside the clip is perfectly balanced to allow you to quickly snap your lenses on and off, but is also strong enough to hold your lens securely in place whilst shooting. The added versatility here means, in theory, you could place the lens over the front-facing camera, although when I tried this I did find it much more difficult to align the lens centrally, and with a much smaller sensor on the front-facing camera, not having perfect alignment with the Soundmark lens meant that the image wasn't particularly sharp, so if you do want to do this you might need to fiddle around until you have the positioning just right. Now if you have a dual lens iPhone like my XS Max here, then you can actually secure the Soundmark lenses to either the wide-angle or the telephoto lens of your phone. One caveat here though is that you might need a third-party software such as ProCam or Lightroom in order to use Sandmark lenses with the iPhone's telephoto lens. This is because, at least at the time of this video, the iOS software doesn't allow you to select a specific camera when shooting, and can automatically switch the camera to the wide angle which will be obstructed by the Sandmark lens. Using Lightroom here, you can see that I'm able to fix the viewfinder to the telephoto lens, which now fixes the issue. If you have a single lens camera phone or only want to use the Soundmark lenses with your phone's wide angle lens, then you'll have no problems at all, and don't need any third party software. The process of screwing the lens onto the case admittedly isn't the fastest in the world, and at first it might take you a few seconds to align the threads properly, but it is really satisfying to screw the lenses down onto the case, and this is probably the most secure method of attaching lenses to phones on the market. Knowing that the lenses were locked onto my phone case gave me great confidence when filming, and since you'll be paying a premium price for these lenses, I certainly did appreciate the added security. With a bit of practice, the lenses can actually be interchanged fairly quickly, and since the threads are metal, this will ensure good longevity throughout multiple lens changes. 
Whilst testing their durability, my lenses were frequently changed on the case, and not even particularly carefully. But there was no visible damage to the threads whatsoever. Although being this careless, I did notice some of the silver metal on the threads appearing through the black finish. Overall though, the lens screw system has been really well thought out, and is a really robust and secure way to attach your lenses. So taking a look at each of the lenses, we'll start off with the macro lens, which probably offers the most striking visual difference in your photos compared to the iPhone's own camera lens. The macro is a 25mm lens, offering 10x magnification, and is unique in that it also comes with a lens hood or diffuser to help you assess the correct focus distance from your subject. It's great for highlighting very fine, close-up detail, and gives a nice smooth bokeh effect. You can see in these images of my fingertip not only how sharp the image is, but also how much the macro lens drastically reduces the iPhone's minimum focus distance. Next up is the telephoto. This is a 60mm lens offering 2 times magnification, and is, as you'd expect, the largest of the four lenses. Now obviously the dual lens iPhones do already have a telephoto lens built in, so the idea here is that you can utilise the Sandmark lens with the iPhone's telephoto lens for 4 times optical zoom. This of course provides much higher resolution images than using the iPhone's digital zoom, and looking at these pictures, hopefully you can see just how much more detail you're getting here. The fisheye is a 10mm lens, offering 02 times magnification, so you're essentially getting a 5 times wider field of view. Now the fisheye effect isn't something I personally use a lot in my photography, and there is quite a specific type of image that this lens is useful for. Having said that, you can see from these images that the lens does offer a massively improved field of view. Finally we have the 16mm wide lens, which provides a 056 times magnification, so you're essentially getting a 2 times field of view, and obviously without the potential warping effect that the fisheye offers. This lens is perfect for including just that little bit extra in the frame, without losing any detail. For those that want to get more out of their phone's camera, the Sandmark lenses are a fantastic way to do this. It's certainly a lot more convenient to carry around these lenses with a phone that, let's face it, you're going to have on you anyway, rather than the equivalent with a DSLR. What's really good to see though is that you don't have to sacrifice in the build quality for this added portability. Overall, I was seriously impressed with the Sandmark lenses. The image sharpness was fantastic, with very little softening or distortion at the edges, and no apparent vignetting whatsoever. I personally really liked how much variety the lenses offered me in my shot composition, which is huge compared to how much I could achieve with just my iPhone. It even opened up possibilities to take pictures impossible to achieve with my DSLR, and this was at a fraction of the price. Now of course these lenses aren't cheap, but for the price you are getting that fantastic build quality, the metal lenses with the multi-coated glass, and these really are leaps and bounds ahead of the many cheap alternatives you might find on Amazon, which frankly just aren't worth your time. If you are interested in picking up any of these lenses then they are available to buy either individually or as packs of multiple lenses at discounted prices. For example the pack that I reviewed in this video was the Pro Edition for the 10s Max, which has all four lenses included. Sandmark's website also showcases their filters for the DJI drones, a bunch of GoPro gear, and even filters for the iPhone lenses if you really want to explore some cinematic photography. So if you are interested in any of this then do check the video description for links to everything, including an exclusive discount code. And if you buy through this link it not only gives you the best prices, but does help to support the channel too. If you liked this video then I'd really appreciate you giving a thumbs up, please comment any thoughts or questions down below, and don't forget to subscribe with notifications turned on so you don't miss anything else. That's it for this video, see you all next time.